This is a lime finish plaster, lime putty finish plaster that I'm going to install over top of a hemp plaster. Um, it's about an inch and a half thick. And I tinted our Lancaster Lime Works finish plaster to a kind of an orangish, yellowish. Um, and I'm gonna polish it off nicely in this, um, in this area. If you notice, it sticks to your tools incredibly. And put it on as thin as you can, filling in all the nooks and crannies. Start in the one corner. I usually start at the lower section and work my way up because it's um, more difficult to reach towards the ground. These lower parts, it's hard on the old knees, if you know what I'm saying. If you, I mean, it really, look at that, it sticks really well. The lime putty has a, a high calcium lime putty. Um, becomes very tenacious in regards to how it sticks to your tools and how it sticks to the wall. Again, you want to put it on as thin as possible. There's very, very fine aggregate in there. Fine marble dust and some fine silica sand. Let me grab some more out of the bucket. Seems really gooey, but it sticks it really well. You want it on as thin as you can. So I'll do a little more here at the bottom. Put some right there on your uh, stucco trowel. Start at the bottom. And let's squeeze it up. Zoom across this way. Spread it out. A lot of pressure. Put a lot of pressure in from your, your shoulder and your elbow. If you notice right here, there's a little bit of a, a gray patch. That's actually a gray lime putty mortar. And there was a little indentation in the base coat. And I wanted to bring that out smooth. So that's not, even though it's gray, it's not Portland cement or any type of modern gypsum plaster. It's um, pure lime putty to fill that lower spot that was in the wall. Something that I missed when I was putting the, the base coat on. And this is how you do it. Just start in one corner, put some on your trout, it sticks really, really well. Start at this bottom corner, spread it up. Then I go along the bottom, smooch it. I like the word smooch. Right under trowel. Now this is gonna require some um, time after I get this done, I'll come back over it and I'll work it to a nice smooth finish. Uh, you don't do that till after it sets up a little bit. Push it with a lot of pressure. Look at that, really sticky stuff, amazing. Put it on as thin as I can, and then kind of a wet on wet coat, if you will. I, I go over it again um, 15 or 20 minutes just to make sure that it's there's enough on there. There's not any spots that are too thin. Give a nice coverage. You can't put it on too thick because then you're going to end up getting a lot of cracking to contend with. Different directions. That's how you do it.